We all know if Marty travels back into the past and messes with it, he makes the Biff timeline. It's casual, we all get it. Moral of the story, if you time travel and mess with anything in the past, you automatically mess with your future. But if Marty was a quantum particle, maybe not so much. From what we commonly understand, time has one direction. You know, it's forward into the future from the past through the present. But physicists are playing with the theory of retrocausality, which, if real, is the idea that the future can influence the past. It's like if I spill coffee on my shirt tomorrow, but I see the coffee stain on my shirt today. It's an idea that's been around for a long time, but it never caught on, because why would it? We live on a cause and effect timeline, and the theory of retrocausality didn't really fit until recently. Some physicists think accepting retrocausality can answer a lot of unanswered questions about quantum mechanics and deepen our understanding of spooky action at a distance. Spooky action is what Einstein called quantum entanglement back in the 1930s. He thought it was crazy that when two particles are created at the same time, they can be linked together or entangled, even if they are then separated light years apart. And according to quantum theory, elementary particles like photons that are entangled have no definite state until they're measured by us. I mean, not like literally us, like, you know. Yeah, physicists. Yeah. <laughs> By measuring the spin of, say, particle A, you automatically know the value of its entangled partner, particle B. This is because particle B is the opposite of whatever particle A was. And even though we didn't actually know what particle B was before, and we didn't observe the two particles exchange any signals when they were measured, yeah, it's spooky. But some theorists are thinking that instead of this just being a spooky occurrence, the exchange of A and B's spins are caused by retrocausality. The way some physicists see it, if time symmetry exists. That's the idea that time looks the same going forwards and backwards without any issues in physics. Then retrocausality would allow particle B to go backwards in time. When it does so, it takes the spin to the moment it was created and therefore affected its entangled partner. But how time flows is still up for debate. The second law of thermodynamics is thought to drive time as we experience it. The law says that entropy must increase with time, making time asymmetrical. And retrocausality, well, it would break that law. Yeah. But no one has proved that time must be symmetrical, and until that day happens, retrocausality isn't going anywhere. So we're not time traveling anytime soon. The laws of thermodynamics are against us, and retrocausality is difficult to test because we can't witness it in our everyday lives. People are working on theories around quantum retrocausality, but it's on the bleeding edge of the discipline. It's a bit out there. They believe if we can find evidence of retrocausality in quantum states, that would be huge. If it does exist, we might be able to move particles through a dimension of time, which would be like time travel. And the first step to figuring it out is determining if it even exists in the first place. If physicists do figure it out, you know it's gonna be a mind-melting explanation that I'm 100% ready to surrender my brain to, totally, absolutely. Future me would come back to this exact moment and tell us all about it. Sometime. Everyone, you probably already know this, but this is Diana from Physics Girl on YouTube. Hi. Diana joined us for this episode because she knows a lot more about quantum mechanics than I do. <laughs> Just a, a slight... A lot more. A slight bit. A lot. So where can people find you if they want to learn more stuff about physics? Oh, YouTube.com slash Physics Girl or just Google Physics Girl. It pops up. Definitely. Also Twitter and wherever else. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Future You chimed in and wants to let you know you should subscribe for more videos because you liked them. One last thing, some cosmologists say that there are an infinite number of universes with an infinite number of yous and uses, but only one where we beat Thanos. Thanks for watching. <laughs>